Hello, you are welcome to solve for x in this nice exponential equation. From what is given here, which is 4 raised to power x minus 2 raised to power x equals to 1. Here, you have to write 4 as 2 square, then raised to power x minus 2 raised to power x equals to 1. Then from here, Applying the law of indices, when we have a raised to power n raised to power n, which is a raised to power m, and which can also be written as a raised to power n then raised to power n. So it here it implies that we can interchange this power here, and this becomes two raised to power x then square minus here two raised to power x equals to one. Then next step. We have 2 raised to power x common, so let the letter u be equals to 2 raised to power x, such that here we have this equation written in terms of u, and this is u squared minus u equals to 1, and we can take 1 to this side to form the quadratic equation, so we have u squared now minus u minus 1, and equals to 0. Now, from here, we use the quadratic formula, which is u now equals to minus b, plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. In this case, a is the same thing as 1, b is minus 1, c is equals to minus 1. Then solving this here, we have u now equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then all over 2 times 1 then from here simplifying this we have u now equals to this become plus that 1 then plus or minus square root of minus 1 square is 1, then plus minus times minus plus, that's plus 4, then over 2. Then next, this becomes u now equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. So from here, we have two possible cases for u. The first one, we have u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And the second we have u equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then let's recall that we represented u as 2 raised to power x. Then, which implies that here we have 2 raised to power x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then, also, same thing on this side. Here we have 2 raised to the power x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then from here, this will be positive and this also positive. So we will have a resolution here. So here it is positive, this is negative. So there is no resolution on this side. So we reject this side. Then from here, let's take the log on both sides. So log 2 raised to power x is now equals to log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then from here, we can apply the power law of log reading when we have log a raised to power b. This can be written as b log a so applying this here this will give us x log 2 then to be equals to here we have log into bracket 1 plus root 5 over 2 then from here let's divide both sides by log 2 so this side divided by log 2, this side divided by log 2. 
just like here, log 2 will cancel log 2. And what we have here is simply the x. Now, this is equals to here. Let's write what we have up here. When we have log t over b, so this can be written simply as log a minus log b. So we can write this from the law of logarithm. And when we separate this, so that will give us log into bracket 1 plus root 5, then minus log 2, then all divided by log 2. And from here, we can also separate this fraction, and this will be x equal to log into bracket 1 plus root 5, then over log 2, then minus log 2 over log 2. Then from there, log 2 over log 2, this will cancel out and become 1. Then from here, log 1 plus root 5 will give us in decimal that will be 0 0.51. Then log 2 that's over 0 0.3. 0, 1, then minus 1 here. Yeah. Then when we divide from here, 0 0.51 over 0 0.301 will be 1.6944. So from here, let's write it here. From here, we can say x is now equals to 1.6944. Minus 1, and then we have x now equals to 0 0.6944. And here we can check from what we have in order to see if this you know, solution satisfies this given problem. Here we have this equation, and what we got here. We have x equals to 0 0.6944. So let's substitute here to see if this will satisfy this given problem. So from here, this becomes 4 raised to power 0 0.6944 then minus 2 raised to power 0 0.69. 4, 4 is it equal to 1 on this side then from here this will give us 2.6186 then minus here this give us 1.6182 is it equal to 1 on this side then when we subtract here this give us 1.00 04 which is approximately equals to 1 then we can say 1 equals to 1 now therefore we can conclude from here that x here will be approximately equals to 0 0.6944 and this gives us the required solution in this given problem thank you for joining us Subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you, see you next class. Bye for now.